Hello. I've been reading a book today that I want to tell you about. It's only taken me about a morning to read it. It's fast to read. It's called Why Painting is Like a Pizza, A Guide to Understanding and Enjoying Modern Art. So if you've ever come across that feeling that, oh, my kid could do better. Um, no, you couldn't. And here, this book is going to tell you why. So, why is a painting like a pizza? It comes from when she moved to a place that didn't have... Um, pizza parlours and choice so she went and made her own pizza and she makes a point that a homemade pizza can look quite odd because of the way things are distributed over the top of it whereas if it's neatly displayed right across you, you just feel it's pleasing to look at to the eye um, and in the same way a picture should have the way that the paint is across the painting um, is intriguing, draws the eye around and it's just something when you see it, you like it. I mean, what's not to like about someone whose starting point for a book is about making your own pizza? You know it's going to be understandable. She has a whole section on stripes, and that sounds like something hmm, maybe anyone could do, but she shows you different ways of working with stripes. She shows you the work of Jean Davis, like this. And then you can see works. This is Kenneth Noland at the top. And then down below that is Barnett Newman, who tends to do kind of stripe of colour. And as you can see, they are stripes, but they're different. Then we have Bryce Marden. Those are actually separate canvases put together. And then here we have Rita Letamandra. And then here we have Morris Louis who dribbles the paint down the canvas. So they're stripes but they're all completely different and there's so much choice in it to do with colours, palettes and how often the colours occur. And she has got a fabulous little picture which is from a catalogue. One to do with tops, with stripes and one to do with different kinds of Venetian blinds. And she's just making a point that this is very ordinary that we make these choices ourselves. On the question of my child could do it, here's a picture by Miro. And here's a picture drawing by a child. And this looks quite distorted, but it's not the same as that at all. And at the bottom of that page, she's got a lovely little cartoon where the teacher is saying to the parent, parents night, oh, you're just what your child drew in class. So she's got humour. It's very readable. It's fast to read. It's well illustrated. It's just about 180 pages. I like the font. It's readable. And it's understandable. It's also, each page has got quotes on it, which add to the whole thing. And it's just a joy to read. Certified free of pretension and the very last chapter is one of questions that people ask or want to ask or feel a bit ashamed and don't want to ask because it can be embarrassing to look as if you don't know too much about modern art and I'll read them to you. How can you tell whether that thing in the corner is a modern sculpture or the humidity monitor? How long did it take to make this artwork? Um, and she says her long answer is that her father was an artist, uh, Jules Heller. And when he was asked how long it took him to create one of his monotypes, he would say three hours and 82 years. How can you tell whether an artwork is good or bad? Why does this artwork deserve to be in a museum? And she talks about things that people have puzzled over, like um, Damien Hurst and a white painting of white on a white canvas. Um, the shocking work of the Fauvists who were used very strange colourings, not, not realistic, and paintings that are just simply one colour. And she wisely points out that you're not going to see and appreciate these artworks unless you actually go and see them in person. And sometimes an artwork is 
vast and huge and fills your whole field of vision and you will never get a sense of what that is doing or like from a little tiny photograph in most books. So she does encourage you to go to art galleries. The author is Nancy Heller, and Nancy G. Heller. She uh, lectures in art, history of art, has done for a long time, and has also written a fantastic book about um, women artists. I love her starting point being about making her own pizza and looking at the top of it and the pattern of it, and then thinking about modern art. It's very understandable. It's a good book. And I recommend reading it and looking at the pictures.